Uli Steck is the number one alpinist in the world and he's invited Epic TV to his home to chat all things climbing. After a bit of persuasion, Uli has agreed to let us have a sneak view of his famous kit room. It's the bunker. Oh my word. How many feet do you have, Uli? Just two? Yeah. <laughs> No, these are our prototypes, you know. It's, this is all the same boot, the midsole. If okay, you, yeah, yeah. If you point 0 0.7 millimeter or zero, that's 0 0.6, that's 0 0.9. So that's that's why it's all the same boot, but you, you just have to make the boot and then try them and then to decide. We got what, what, these? Yeah, that's like for, for the big party. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's so for... Uh, yeah. Can you get a crampon on that? Yeah, yeah. Just about. I have a pair of weight testing. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Can you show us the kit you use for Annapurna? That's the ice axe. The actual use. ice axe. Yeah, that's the actual the piece one. of history. Is that yeah. your signature? Yeah, that's like, this is now retired. You're going to sell that, you think? No, I keep it. So that's not going to go on eBay? No, it's not going to go on eBay. Yeah, maybe you have to lock the door when we leave, just in case. If you grab that one, you might be having another one <laughs> in your back. <laughs> that you have to check. Oh wow! So what's this? This is a. This is that the same like the. I can't figure out what it. The nomic. Is that a nomic with yeah. a different handle at the bottom? Yeah, and just B shaft. They just made it for me. They that never would sell. Done, no, they never. No. You can't bring it on the market because it it, it can break. You know, <laughs> it's super nice. You know, cramp when I used to a dark green, but I made an antipod on it. It's pretty good engineering, and that is pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm Swiss. Yeah, know. exactly. And what uh, what food did you take on the route? I had like six six power bars and, okay. and two, two of these energy blends. They're, they're really good at, it's kind of this fruit mousse. It's, it's really, really nice okay. flavor. It's just, Can you eat them even at altitude? Yeah, yeah. I think this you have to really, really figure out, you know. A lot of things you eat here, it doesn't work on altitude. Yeah. So, so make sure you test it. So, which of these do you take on Annapurna? Using a needle-ass jacket. That's the jacket I made. Like, that's kind of my collection, just simple. Two pockets for food and drink. Yeah, and that was the only insulation you had? No, I, I was wearing a, another same jacket. Okay. Oh, it, so I like two jackets. Yeah. Like just on the bottom, I just wearing long underwear, like the power stretch suit, mm. and then Gore-Tex. Okay. It makes me realize how close you are to the limit. I mean, that's not yeah. warm enough. If you were injured, yeah, then that's, it's then, not warm enough. No, then you're done. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of naked up there. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Well, thank you very much for having us. No problem. And I promise I won't tell anyone how you get in your cave. Okay. With all the kit. Just now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for our exclusive interview with Uli Steck. We just got kicked out of the house, so I think it's time for us to head off. See you next time on Epic TV Climbing Daily. And there was this little tunnel and went down that and that was the piece of resistance. Amazing overhanging wall in the bottom chamber. Is uh, accessible from the uh, handrails on the bridge at the Egredi Midi.